are you filming now? I am. I just really hurt my knee doing that. Oh, welcome to, um, hi ow! That <laughs> welcome to High House Brewery. This is, um, another documentary that we've been filming called The Dregs. Now, everything on this is, uh, the bits that we've left out in the proper film and some of the mistakes with it we've made along the way. Well, um, I hope you enjoy this one as well as the uh, previous one. My name is Sonny Irwin and I am the general manager of the brewery. Visitor centre has now been taken over by another family and um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the history of the brewery and the building and the actual process, okay? So, I forgot what to say now. <laughs> so that's the introduction. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll do a bit more. If you want. Can I think of sensible questions? <laughs> Um, so how many people are involved in the whole... I can't even see in. So we're brewing at the moment, we're a 10 barrel plant, which means that we do um, around 60 casks per brew, and um, each cask is 9 gallons, so you can work out how much we actually produce in any one time. We brew twice a week, and what we're doing at the moment is we're sprinkling the hot water from the hot liquor tank straight onto the, the mash or the, bar, um, the barley in the mash tub. So the sparge arm, which you can see going round and round, is sprinkling the hot water on, and as it goes on, it percolates through the, the plug of mash, and it takes all the wort or the sweet uh, liquor down to the bottom of the mash tub. And then what Michael will do is he'll pump it into the copper and then you'll add hops where it becomes beer and then once it goes through a heat exchanger if we then start fermenting. Back to the business match at all? Um, yeah, well, we, we were really braced for a terrible year but we had the best Christmas ever in 2008 which was really great mm. and then um, after that we haven't really seen any problems yet. The only thing is I've just had the duty rise 2%. Yeah. So I'm having to send out price rise letters to everybody and I'm getting a bit of grumbling now, which I mm. suppose is fair enough. Also, some of our very small isolated rooms... Um, still generate yeah, money. Yeah, um, it, it doesn't... I wouldn't say it generates income, but it holds its own. Right, with so... With break even. Um, the sheep are just sold commercially as, mm. a, as a meat flock. The cows the same. The arable is the main thing that we make money on, mm. but don't forget that we're growing all of our own malted barley mm. so that we're not really selling that for any particular Castle. Um, this afternoon we will be doing a drinking challenge down here. We've got three contestants and their challenge is to identify the commercial beer from a choice of three. The other two are real ales and our conclusion will be hopefully that real ale is the best. So let's go in and find out. Oh you should have gone all the way in at the end. Oh should I? Oh no! It's it so close. Oh, it's and again. You'd, like you're walking in, it was good, but then you could just see it stop <laughs> and go. <laughs> oh. Should we do it again? Uh, Anthony's trying to uh, turn the screen brightness up on the uh, computer, however, because it was already so dark, he has spent the last 20 minutes trying to uh, achieve yeah. this. <laughs> Miss Bomb Blue. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that out, Han. <laughs> 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 